it's been a rough summer. <laughs> time no see um yeah it feels strange to be talking to the camera aka my phone um but yeah it's been almost i think two months maybe since i filmed anything i kept telling myself i would and i would and now we are in our last week of being in new york city for this internship um that i'm doing this summer uh yeah there's a lot to uh catch up on long story short um basically i'm doing an internship this summer that's basically wrapping up um but it was at the 92nd street y which is sort of a big cultural community center here um that has a bunch of different arts uh components to it and i'm working at their poetry center specifically so um kind of organizing writer talks um and classes on like literature and writing and then a uh, young writers workshop which is like a camp that we put on um and yeah i was there basically helping coordinate i'm still there um helping coordinate and um sort of organize all of those events make them happen and uh it was hybrid so i um am remote today i'm remote a lot of days but then for the three weeks um that we had the camp going on and other times i'll i went into the office and uh worked there so that's sort of like the logistics of what i'm doing and i tried to film especially in the beginning when my internship was starting and things like that and um i think i'll go into this a little bit more in depth later but basically um it's been a rough summer <laughs> it has not been a hot girl summer and i don't know if some of you feel this um i'm sure some of you are also in winter right now which is kind of fun like summer i i think always comes with sort of a pressure to uh have a lot of fun um be having the best time of your life and also just to be doing all the things that you normally didn't have time for or like wanted to do um and especially summer in a new place like you know new york city feels that way and i just think that it wasn't that at all. Um, most of my days were uh, just me going to work, coming home, eating dinner, and that was it. Like that was my majority of my summer. Um, and I think that, yeah, it hasn't been the most glamorous thing. Also like have mixed feelings about New York City as a city, which is very intense and like everyone's trying to get their stuff done. And I just don't, personally love that energy. I feel like I, I'm more, um, I feel more calm and energized and sort of like ready to do stuff actually when people in general feel more chill and relaxed and like they're having a good time here. It just feels like everyone's trying to hustle. Um, so I'm not really in the hustle. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think, you know, a variety of factors basically long story short, I have not really been filming. I haven't been feeling super great um this summer it's been yeah it's been fine it hasn't been you know super crazy difficult or um i can't complain about you know the fact that i am able to live in new york and do this internship um and get paid by um this place and also princeton and things like that so i'm really not complaining it's just more it's been fine nothing super crazy and i think that um when I don't feel so great, it's harder to turn on the camera and, and film my more boring life. That being said, um, I am determined to make this last week a little bit more fun. Um, I have some more friends who are coming into the city, which is always really nice. Um, and I also, you know, it's our last week, so I want to go explore some places that I wanted to go to but never found the time. And also just in general, um, try to appreciate the fact that this summer, uh, at least this part of the summer, is coming to an end. Um, so yeah, today we are doing some remote work for the beginning part of the day. Um, and then after that, I, I think I'm going to go to the Guggenheim um and try to shell out the 19 student fee um yeah it's really unfortunate i 
think after um, being in Europe for the past year where every museum was free basically for students, it's so painful to pay like $20, but I think it'll be really nice. Overall, thank you so much for coming along with me again. Um, welcome for even a brief, you know, week to New York. Yeah, let's get this work day started. kitchen again. Um, I finished some of my work for today and I am going to make myself a nice decaf coffee. Um, so this is a local uh, coffee shop called Dear Mama. I think it's also a roastery um, and they do really nice beans and if you ask them they'll like grind them to whatever you need. It's my first time ever buying beans and like roasting or whatever. I'm not a huge coffee person i'm more of a cafe person um so yeah but it's been really exciting we also got a um let me show you mocha pot sorry it's like in pieces um we got a mocha pot in rome this past year um which is really nice i think this is like the standard way of a lot of people maybe in italy or just around the world make espresso without getting a really expensive espresso machine. This was like $30 and it makes enough espresso for two people. Um, but because I'm bad at caffeine and uh, my body doesn't take it very well, I almost always exclusively drink decaf um, unless it's the morning. So this is a really, really nice decaf. It's called Dream. Decaf rules everything around me. Lol. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make a nice maybe iced Americano or iced latte or something and um, have a little snack and then I think just finish all the work for today and then we'll head out to the Guggenheim.
welcome to the stairwell of the apartment. Um, I forgot to record when I was in the house. I uh, just did some work for um, my applications and stuff for next year, post-grad life, which we'll probably get into in another video. Um, just all the things that I am considering and all the uncertainty and stress. Um, but now we're about to head to, I think, the East Village area um, to see my friend Emily, who just moved to New York a couple of days ago. And yeah, I'm really excited. I think we're just gonna go around the area, um, maybe get some good food, the usual. So it's a very hectic mix of work and um, just hanging out, seeing people lately, but I think it's good. It's been really good for me. Um, let's head out into sweaty, hot New York. Hi everyone, um, welcome to my last day in New York and my last day of my internship. I am in the office and it is silent because there's no one else here. Um, so it's a rare occasion where I get to talk to the camera in the office, crazy. So yeah, I'm just finishing up basically some last stuff. We have um, sort of like an internship review and stuff that I have to submit to Princeton and other things. Um, but other than that, I have a flight out this evening um, back to Texas and um, yeah it's so crazy the summer has gone so fast I wanted to end and say some thoughts I've had about um, New York and just like the summer um, I know I sort of said it a little bit in the beginning but although there are a lot of fun moments I think overall the summer has felt very um, stressful <laughs> I think coming back from um, studying abroad and then going straight into um, an internship without any break in between was probably not the smartest thing I could have done. I just feel a little like burnt out and my body feels very exhausted, but it's okay. Um, overall, the job was really fun. It was, you know, as fun as a job could be, but everyone was really nice. Um, I think it was just like, I don't know if I was in the right headspace to be like super motivated and do things this, this summer. Um, and maybe summer is just like that. So I'm excited to go back home and rest and sort of recuperate and hopefully kind of get some more energy um, to do YouTube again, to do, you know, sort of things I enjoy again. Um, mostly because, yeah, it feels like the past nine weeks have just really sped by and I'm not really sure what I did. With that, I just wanted to, you know, check in and see how y'all are doing. Um, how's your summer been? Also just know that if it hasn't been everything you've ever wanted, um, that's totally fine. I'm right there with you. Otherwise, thank you so much for sticking around for this vlog, um, for waiting for this vlog, and I hope it was somewhat entertaining, um, and hopefully I'll be back with some more content before I go back to school, um, which is also very exciting, and I'll have um, my senior move in, and um, hopefully I'll get a room set up and all this stuff, so I'm super excited for that. Um, look out for it, and I hope you have a great rest of your summer or winter wherever you are um and i'll see you in the next one bye